What's up my aquas? I am going to do your October sex and love messages. So um, this is going to be a disclaimer. There's going to be a lot of profanity, a lot of sexual talk, dirty talk. So if you're not into that type of stuff, then I'm warning you now, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's get it cracking. Let's pull a few cards. We're gonna start with the love. All right, for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so we have listen with your heart. You are listening to what is being said to you, but need to listen with a loving heart. Have you been judgmental? Have people been talking to you and you've just been so quick to, to judge or so quick to get hot-headed or whatever? You are listening, but you are not listening with your heart. You need to have a little bit more compassion towards people and towards lovers or whatever. You're just... Lately, I feel like you've been really snappy. Like you've just been so quick to, you know, judge specific people. Lovers, outcomes, yourself. So just take it easy a little bit, okay? Don't be so into your head. Think a little bit with your heart more. Have that balance. Then we have have faith. Trust your faith in this situation, okay? Whether you're going through it with your partner, you have to have faith that things um, are like that because they need to be. Maybe there's something you need to learn. Maybe there's something your partner needs to learn. Maybe you guys have to go through some kind of lesson in order for you to grow, okay? Just have faith. Or if you're single and you feel like you can't find love, you need to have faith that the right person is being, you know, tweaked a little, learning their lesson. So when you guys come together, you meet the right one. They'll be best for you at the moment when it's time, the divine timing. Then we have focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. Look on the good, not always the bad. Okay, the balance, like I said. Don't be quick to, to see somebody's life or know something about them. Like let's say you meet a girl or a man and uh, you start to get to know them and you're like, no, that turns me off. Oh, I like the side of you, but that turns me off. Bye. I don't want nothing to do with you. You're just so quick to put somebody out or just, just judge them a little bit. So just focus on love. Focus on the good things. Have that balance. It's very, very um, healthy to have that balance. Okay, so let's pull some cards from the uh, fortune reading cards. My Aquarius, please. Oh, this fell on my lap, so I'm taking it. Ooh, we have the key. I haven't had this in a while. It says, new beginnings, directions, and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. Okay? Are you holding on to resentment or whatever something someone did to you in the past? Because if you do, you hold on to that. That's taking. That's like holding on to that person having power over you. You are its little fucking bitch. So think of it. Think of it that way. Because you hold resentment for what someone did to you, that's them having power over you, dominion. Are you going to allow that to allow you to be its little bitch? Think of it that way. No, let go of the past so that the new beginnings can come in they are there okay they're there waiting for you to unlock it okay just put the key in put the key in let go of the past throw away the old photos throw away the old resentment purge whatever you need to fucking do so that the new can come in okay it's ready for when you let go of the past exactly what it says think with your heart wow we have unity a time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. Ooh, you're coming together with the lover. Right on top of the have faith card. Have faith. This new love coming in that you're coming into union with, the new beginnings, it's going to be something great. Okay, just have faith. Remember not to be so quick to judge certain things. Have a balance. Wait it out. Not everything that they say in message or whatever is the way you're taking it you got to you got to have don't be so egoic egoic don't be so like prideful okay because i know my aquas can get a little bit like that in their head so just have faith you know think with your heart focus on love like that card says time of divine understanding ah the only card that flipped over out of all the ones that fell is fire 
We have the fire card. Speaking of fire, I have the fireplace going on right now. Let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. You see? Let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. You see that? Yes, baby. Yes. Enjoy it. The new beginnings right here. Okay, so let's get some from... Woo! That was fast. We have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. You're going to be spending some quality time with someone. Okay. Some quality time. Ugh, those two fell out, so I gotta take it. Trust. Another one about trust. Have faith. This situation is calling for you to have faith. There it is again. Have faith that things will work out. Maybe you met somebody new and you're very skeptic and you don't want to be like, Oh, don't jinx it. I don't want to jinx it by getting too excited or whatever. It's okay to feel excited. Have and be trust in the situation. This universe brought this person into your life to start new beginnings so that you can heal the past. Start something new. Come into union with love again. Because maybe you've been growing a little cold. I don't know if you have been. Okay, or maybe you don't want to admit it. But that's what I'm feeling for some of you. Then we have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Maybe you need to have, you know, you, maybe you need to uh, mend or vent a little bit with your friends. Have some wine or, you know, talk it out so that you can let go of it. It's always good to speak about it. Have that therapy session with your homegirls or your homeboys or whatever it is that you need to do to get some advice. Okay, so let's get some of the sexual cards for my Aquarius. Aquarius and sex. Ooh, the world. Yep, you are wrapping up an old cycle. It's time to be on top of your game sexually, baby. If you have not been, you know, having sex lately, the time has come. Okay, that cycle's ending, and it's time for you to start riding it out. Uh huh. Look at that big ass. <laughs> You are literally going to be feeling on top of the world with this person. Okay, they make you feel complete. They make you feel good. The Eight of Air. You see, some of you have been running away from love. Okay, you see or, or hear something that you don't like about a, a specific person, you run away. This could also be you uh, being freaked out because when you have sex with this person that you're going to be meeting or whatever, you find out that they're really big and you're like, that freaks you, you, that freaks you out. You're like, oh shit. Or this could be you like, oh my God, being paranoid, freaking out because you're catching feelings. It's okay to catch feelings, boo. <laughs> Especially if you're retreating and you disconnect from the world, you spend that one-on-one. -on -one. Someone might be getting pregnant and you could be freaking out. <laughs> you're like, no, shit, what did I do? The star. Okay, the stars. So, Aquarius, that's obviously you. Okay, the sign of Aquarius, it's on the bottom here. Um, this could be you getting a wish come true. Getting the person that you want. Getting a person that you that has all the features and everything that you want in a woman and a, and a man. And it, it probably scares the shit out of you because you're like, oh my God, it's finally here. What am I going to do? I've been so closed off. I've been kind of negative because of what happened in the past or whatever I went through. But you're excited, but at the same time, you're scared and you kind of like want to hide a little bit. But don't do that. <laughs> don't you fucking do it. Let's switch the deck here. So some of you who um who are in a relationship, okay, 
and you need to spend some quality time with a retreat and you feel like you are stuck in a rut or you feel like you're you're feeling a little the walls are closing in on you you guys need a vacation it's time for you guys to do that go out and and explore the world or do some things together go on dates just get out there and make it happy and, and make it happen you know um we have the six of pentacles this is the equal give and take you're gonna meet someone who who loves to give as much as you know you're gonna be loved to receiving you like to give too but you i know you prefer to be the one to receive <laughs> But I'm just saying, okay, if you have other people around you who are trying to get into your relationship, that's a no-no. You got to get away from them. You got to talk to them, set your boundaries. Okay, you need to find your alone time, your sexual time. People need to respect that. So um, you just got to put it out there, you know. This person is going to be the one who loves to please you. You're going to love that. Like I said, with the stars card, it's, this is someone that you've desired. Someone that you've been waiting for for a while now. Oh my God, all these cards flipped over. Oh my goodness. All right. Temperance. Look at that. Look at him underneath the table giving you, eating you out while you're doing your thing. Mm -hmm. This is someone that's going to come in and give you that sexual healing. Mm-hmm. Marvin Gaye, baby, Marvin Gaye, sexual healing. That's exactly what you need. Maybe you've been on, you know, a little grouchy lately, and that's why. This person's going to come in and rock your motherfucking world. I'm telling you, they're going to rock your world, and you are going to rock their world. The equal give and take. You see that? So, yay. You, you've been, someone's been needing sexual healing for a long time you've been sexually deprived some of you have been sexually deprived where you're just like oh my god I, i'm becoming a dark soul i need sex <laughs> lack of sex can do that to you you become a demon no i'm just kidding <laughs> real shit though um all right so we have the knave of cups reversed okay look at how it looks like in the upright Having a good time, putting her over her lap, spanking her, showing who daddy is and shit like that. This is reverse, the knave of cups. Someone, okay, is feeling a little naughty. They want to just, they could, you know, come to you with this little good girl, good boy type of persona. And then finally when you get them in bed, it's like, oh my God, the beast comes out. Like, holy shit, where'd this come from? All of a sudden, you guys are engaging in kinky sex, toys. You just don't know where you, you wake up and you're like, what happened? <laughs> Type of shit. So, damn, that, that's good. Okay? Yeah, you're probably going to want to stay with this person. Mm hmm I like that. Someone likes it rough. Somebody likes it rough, so be careful. They might like it a little too rough, and you're probably like, oh my god, you're probably freaking out. Some 50, 50, grades of, uh, 50 shades of gray shit right here is what I'm seeing. <laughs> we have the four of cups reversed. You see in the upright how there's this dude is like peeping on someone? Okay? So, I feel like you someone has kept their eye on you, or maybe someone you caught somebody's attention. And it just turns into like, you know, something sexual and freaky and you just, you didn't know where that came from. But definitely that could be, you know, you being bored in your current relationship and now you are just ready to get out there and get more pleasure, live in your fantasy. <laughs> oh yeah. Speaking about that. Eight of, eight of Wands. You see that? This is coming in hot. Someone is coming in hot for you, Aqua. Or this could be you coming in hot with someone. It could be a fire sign. Okay? Look at that. More oral sex, I told you. Someone is ready to eat the life out of you. That's two cards there. Someone wants to eat you alive. And I, I'm telling you, you better let them. Whether you're male or female, I'm just saying... Okay, this is the kind of hot sex that you need in your life to liberate you, to make you a little bit happier so that you can walk around with a smile and not a frown anymore. Oh yeah, you're going to have that dick glow all around you. That pussy glow all around you. 
I'm sorry, but I told you I was going to talk nasty. Because that's what it is. Just wanted to come out. Oh, man. What, what we got here? King Kong. We got the King of Swords. Ooh, who's your daddy? Taking it. Taking it like the little whore that you are. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, this is this king of swords here likes to speak dirty while you're having sex and you like it. It turns you on. Okay, they are uh their mind is like they whatever fantasy you're playing out in your mind, they make it happen. Okay? They they really do. They make it happen. The moon. Ooh, are you having been sneaking around or someone sneaking around? Throwing them out the window. Deep down in your subconscious mind, you could be role playing, okay? You could literally be role playing what you're going to do to them or what they're going to do to you. And when you finally have sex with them, it's kind of like they tapped into your subconscious mind and end up doing everything that you were dreaming and fantasizing about. And you're just like, what the fuck? Are you real? Are you an alien? Are you are you abducting me sexually? Like, what the fuck is going on? Because you are doing everything that my heart desires. Like, what what is this? What the hell's happening? <laughs> I'm telling you, they're literally going to rock your world. And you're going to be rocking their world. You probably met your match. <laughs> Let's get uh, one more. For my Aquarians. Oh, we have the Knight of Swords. Oh, yeah. Someone is definitely going to come in. This is like someone leaving a relationship saying, you know what? I'm not happy. And then they go off into the sunset with the person that they want. Look at this girl. She's like holding her hands on her hips. Like, where do, where do you think you're going? Some of you feel trapped and stuck in a relationship that you're trying to get away from. Literally trying to run away from. Whether you're male or female. Running, trying to get away from it. And this person is always trying to stop you. Like, where the fuck are you going? Like, trying to keep you stuck. You're like, you know what? I'm done. I'm not happy. The sex isn't good. The love isn't there. Why am I even here? You're just trying to escape. Okay? Don't let anybody try to stop you. Let's get some cards from the Lover's Oracle. Oh, this one flipped over. Trust. There's another one. We have two trust cards here. Trust, trust, trust. It's one of the main messages here. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. This is surrender and trust, okay? Once you surrender and trust to the new, new beginnings, okay? I'm telling you, your world's going to be rocked. Allow it. Have faith. Let loose a little. Have fun. Okay, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. What is your heart telling you to do? Ah, this one flew right out. Actually, I'm not taking that. It is, I don't feel it. This is just the jumper here. Okay, power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. This reminds me of this card. You have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Okay. Get a few more. Aquarius for October. All right. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally. So the qualities you do not like are also your own reflection. This is when it comes to you um, being judgmental. If you look at them a certain way, judge them in a certain way, they are looking at you in the same way. So be careful of the thoughts that you're having. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Have that balance. 
very important. All right, so that was your message for October, your love and sex. Please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, guys. Love you so, so much, and I'll see you in your next video.